Hello friends, I'm Oom and today we're diving in the fantastic world of Linux and here we have Chrome 47 and I must say Linux desktops are literally becoming crazily amazing beautiful and today here we have another update of it so let's get started shall we now let's open Chrome boxes cause that's where I'm gonna install my Chrome 47 so let's get started well then let's see so here we have our new latest and amazing GNOME 47. So let's install it first. Next. No, I don't want to share some resources. Next. Well, my name is Singh Narayan. Well, then go passwords. Go on. And here we have our GNOME 47. Now I must say, this is an operating system which only has a GNOME desktop and nothing else. Well then, let's take the two, shall we? Let's begin. Well, all the things are just the same in the tour application. Let's see what else do we have. All right. So let's see. Well, the application suit is pretty minimal. Now, there was one thing before everything. There's one thing I want to know. How do we install applications on it? Does it use as flat packs? Let's see. Yep, it does. And that is why, in my opinion, we should stop recommending people distributions. Let's start recommending desktops. Like really, KDE already has their own desktop or distribution, the KDE Neon. And here we have the official GNOME 47 OS, which doesn't have any operating system of Linux base. All we have is just, okay, there's, a re there's an update, which I'm definitely not going to do. Well then. Let's see what is new in this update. So starting with, I have a list of things. So, well, looks like they've already brought back the amazing Google account sync. Here we have. Yep, we can sync our accounts with it. Nice. Well, most of the updates in this operating system are fundamental and functional. We cannot properly see them, but these are really amazing. Let's start with the settings application. Now the first thing which is obviously changed is the version GNOME 47 for obviousness. Now let's see what else do we have here. Right. Now let's now let's cover every update one by one. Even if they're not that much significant, they do hold an importance in the future of Linux. Starting with the transient dialogues. Improved handling of dialogues that apparently are temporary, which I don't know what that is. Then we have, okay, let me just check it. So finally, we have the best update ever in GNOME Desktop. As in colors. Let's try red. Okay, now let's try green. Hmm, I believe I'm gonna stick to the default blue because I'm literally wearing blue and my background is blue and the wallpaper is blue. Well then, let's... Let's see some amazing and beautiful wallpapers of GNOME. Well, the wallpaper collection has been updated. So which one should I go with? Here we have this one, then we have this one, then this, then this, which I don't like. Okay then, let's stick to this one. GNOME 47, here we go. Now let me see what else do we have. Nothing has changed here. Now the overview startup notifications are more reliable, okay. Now the document weaver has apparently updated. Let's see what do we have there. The document weaver. Well, just the detection of applications and files is updated, nothing much. Then we have the GNOME Display Manager, which now has Persian sessions in GNOME Remote Desktops, which we cannot test right now. Then we have status icon extensions, a new extension add for managing status icons in the tray. Oh really? What else do we have? Now this, now, now the real update is here. Secondary GPU update failure recovery. An implemented mechanism to recover the failures in secondary GPU. Okay, so finally they're working on discrete GPUs here. But as you can see, my NVIDIA GPU was not detected properly here. And maybe the reason is we are running a virtual machine. So yeah, it is probably that it's using my Radeon graphics which is my integrated graphics here. You see, this is running GNOME 46 on Fedora and here we are in GNOME 47 in Virtual Machine. And you see, just look at that. It is running on 75 Hertz while my native dis display is running at 144 Hertz. 
literal almost half hmm i believe that's that it's done like really gnome has been fixing a lot of fix you know bugs and glitches and they are trying to perfect something which is already almost perfect they're just making it even better and better and even better hmm do you know what the time is it's 2 a.m literally we just after a few hours it's gonna be morning and i'm shooting so many videos right now i don't know why well there is one thing i've noticed like really when i use touchpad gestures then they are responded by the real operating system running on the distro well what are these all right i was trying to run gnome boxes but it wasn't running because this gnome 47 operating system needed flat pack variant of gnome boxes not the real gnome box from rpm okay well i wanted to show you this like let's compare a few applications okay they are just the same nothing is different so all in all all the visuals and other things are not updated at all mostly the real update has been this accent color and that secondary gpu update recovery and then the overall desktop There is one thing I've noticed above all the desktop even I'm running on a virtual machine is a lot more responsive like really just look at that it is a little snappier but in this one things are pretty nice like really things are fast so yes the improvement is there in performance optimization and accent colors not to forget there's just one thing I don't like and that is the wallpaper they should add some really suitable wallpapers like really they have such an amazing such beautiful desktop and which sort of wallpapers we have let me show you these well this one is nice maybe inspired by vanilla too maybe who knows but all in all what are we going to do with them like most of them are like ai created maybe <sighs> now i'm getting sleepy well then here we have another one just black and gray looks like i'm going to stick to the real native one well this looks pretty okay for the thumbnail and that's it well i'm done with the operating system let me know in the comments what shall i review in these new updates of gnome desktop and other distributions and i'm a little new to just unscripted raw videos where i'm just exploring things in linux I'm sometimes doubtful about whether you whether you even like it or not. But yeah, besides all of it, I believe that Linux is literally an amazing operating system. All it needs is just proper funding and support by people and recognition not to forget. There's so much potential in Linux. The only problem is most of the software industries don't want to port their applications to Linux because Linux is the place where people are literally smart and they will find a way to just pass through your ads and you know somehow stop your earning from them and use it to their own benefit and that is a good thing even for brands cuz that builds trust but brands do have to make money and that is why they will not port their applications to linux but besides that i believe that's it for today i hope you have enjoyed the video and if you do then subscribe for daily dose of awesome rest content uploaded on this channel and i'll meet you next video till then i'm signing out there we are